pride can really impair our judgment. Pride can really do a number on us that does not allow us to see our need, that does not allow us to see the gravity of our lives, that pushes us to point to others, to see faults in others, but not to keep our lives in check. And we know this. We know that this is a big deal to God, that in order for this process of sanctification to take place, God requires two things in us, essentially, aside from the Spirit of God and being regenerated, justified. He requires that a person is some, humbly submitted to him and that that person is biblically transformed, that the truth of God replaces any other truths or truth claims. Because when you and I go to the scripture, the source of truth, absolute truth, we'll see if our truth matches up to what is really truth. But it's not just enough that you go to the scriptures because you can go to the scriptures seeking the truth of God. But if you do not have a humble heart, if you don't humbly submit to Him, guess what? You come out with a bigger ego. I know God. He's on my side. He's my pal. He's my Savior. But your heart may be very far from Him. A humbly submitted heart is very important. Look here in the we see that God is speaking to his people. He says, on that day, I will remove all proud and arrogant people from among you. The best thing you could do as a Christian, mom, dad, son, or daughter, is to develop a humble heart, a heart that is willing to listen. And so that is why pride must be checked. There's no hope when pride is not checked. There's only one place to turn, and that is God himself. 